I wanna go far, there's no stopping I see them watching, I see them hating One day I swear I'ma be on the station Mama, I gotta make it before we start this video, I have to shout out my sponsor, SeatGeek. The NBA season is finally here, and if you want to see your favorite NBA players live, you better use this app. SeatGeek is an app that puts tickets from all over the web into one spot, making your job easy as can be. They rate those deals on a scale to 1 to 100 to let you know whether you're getting a good deal or a bad deal. And my personal favorite part about this app, they actually give you a visual of what your seats will look like. And using my promo code SWISHOUT knocks off $20 off your first purchase. So I'll drop the link in the description box and you guys better use this app if you go to any games. I know I am. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, you. Are you, you ready? Okay. When you think of Jerry West, what do you think about? I'm going to give you some time. M NBA All-Star, NBA Champion, yeah, NBA Logo. Yeah, yeah, you know, regular things, right? That's what you think about when you think of Jerry West. I understand. Most of the stuff that you will think about or the typical NBA fan would think about when they actually think about Jerry West is historic NBA stuff like championships, logos, historic battles that he did with Bill Russell. But a lot of people don't realize the stuff that he did behind the scenes for specific teams that we actually cheer for today like the Golden State Warriors. Jerry West, in a lot of ways, saved the Golden State Warriors or created the Golden State Warriors that you love so much today. Yeah, you Golden State Warriors fan. Now let me explain to you how. In 2014, the NBA offseason was pretty intriguing. It all started when LeBron James shocked the world and left the Miami Heat to go back to Cleveland and join young, unproven Kyrie Irving. Then Carmelo Anthony, people thought that he was leaving the Knicks to go to Houston, Miami, Cleveland, Chicago with Derrick Rose, but he ended up signing with the Knicks as we all know. Then Chris Bosh, after LeBron James left Miami, people thought that he was going to Houston, but he re-signed with the Heat as we all know as well. But the 2014 move that almost happened that I'm talking about is when the Timberwolves offered up Kevin Love for Klay Thompson. In the 2013-2014 season, the Warriors weren't a bad team. They went to the playoffs and they had a good competitive playoff run where they met the Clippers in the first round and lost in a game seven. So it wasn't like they were a bad team. And at the time, Klay Thompson for Kevin Love, it seemed like a no brainer. Klay Thompson was a solid player and all, averaging 18 points. He had the Splash Brothers thing going on with Steph Curry, but Kevin Love was one of the best players in the league in 2014. He averaged 26 points, 12 rebounds, and he was arguably the best at his position. And if it wasn't for Jerry West, who was an executive board member for the Warriors, which is basically like part GM, if it wasn't for him vetoing the trade and actually threatening to quit if the trade happened, the Warriors that we love today with the Splash Brothers, Kevin Durant, all that stuff, it wouldn't have ever happened. Ultimately, as we know, the trade never happened and Kevin Love ended up going to Cleveland for Andrew Wiggins, but if the Warriors would have made that deal, let me explain to you how the Warriors would have looked and how that probably would have changed their whole dynasty future. With no Klay Thompson going into 2014, their starting lineup probably would have looked like Stephen Curry playing point guard, Andre Iguodala playing at two, Harrison Barnes playing small forward, Kevin Love playing power forward, and Andrew Bogut playing the center. You know who that leaves out, right? Draymond Green, the star power forward for the Warriors right now, he probably wouldn't have got the shine or the spotlight to do what he does right now for Golden State if Kevin Love was the main power forward for the Warriors. The whole Warriors dynamic would just be completely different. They probably wouldn't have made three straight NBA Finals. They probably wouldn't have acquired Kevin Durant, who was more attractive because they had the whole Splash family going on there. You know, it just would have been completely different. They wouldn't have had any tough guy because Draymond Green, if he wasn't getting the minutes that he deserved, he probably wouldn't have been there to, you know, be the tough guy and getting in everybody's face and be annoying like he is. And after the Warriors blew a 3-1 lead, who called Kevin Durant to make sure that he came to the Warriors the following season? It was Draymond Green. You think Kevin Love would have did that? Nah, man. Draymond Green was the guy that got Kevin Durant there with Jerry West. So if Kevin Love was there, probably would have been, you know, no Kevin Durant. So basically all I'm saying, if Jerry West would have pulled the trickle on what seemed to be a great deal back then, you probably wouldn't have got Kevin Durant because Harrison Barnes probably wouldn't have left. 
no splash family, no enforcer like Draymond Green because he wouldn't have got the minutes because Kevin Love would have took up all the minutes. And even if you think Kevin Love is better than Draymond, one thing you can't undervalue with Draymond, that dude knows how to annoy LeBron James. Kevin Love wouldn't have done that. So all things considered, Either you love to hate the Warriors and you say, I can't stand Kevin Durant for going to the Warriors and leaving, you know, Russell Westbrook. I can't stand them. Either those Warriors that you love to hate or the Warriors that you love, period, whether you're a bandwagon fan, whatever, those Warriors wouldn't be if it wasn't for Jerry West saying this trade is not happening and actually seeing the future with Klay Thompson on the Warriors. So you can either say, I hate Jerry West or I love Jerry West for making this happen. But, you know, that's the legend that probably save the Warriors franchise and their dynasty that we love slash hate like I said today if you guys like the video make sure you guys like the video if you guys are new make sure you subscribe if you're a current subscriber make sure you turn on my notifications do all of that great stuff guys and until next time stay tuned Jay. Jay. All the flights I miss, fly her out from Houston, Texas. Whoa. I just got that fader, turn 19, yeah, I'm flexing. Yeah. 2016 for.